Right, hello everyone, welcome back to part 44 of it. My GTA 3 100% walkthrough. Um, yeah, I'm just going to shake the police here. I think there's a package over here somewhere which might be a bit risky to get, but we'll give it a whirl. No, I'm guessing the only thing I remember about that place is just the fact that there's a banshee there, which is obviously um, the only, only about the third banshee drop off point in the actual like, spawn point in the actual whole game, so I always like to remember them. I consider it the fastest vehicle in terms of Excel. So uh, here we go, here's our garage, and this one holds about four cars, I think. So no bribes or anything yet, because I haven't done vigilante, so I'm just going to save it. It's usually the easiest way to get police off here, save it and reload. Okay, so while I'm here, actually, you know, I didn't intend on doing it, but may as well uh, get a couple of the ice missions out of the way. So I don't really know a, an actual proper plan route for picking up the packages in this place, but I do know where some of them are, so I may as well just sort of pick them up while I'm here. Uh, there's a package in a doorway of one of these places. There's this sort of building lot, and there's one down there. We've just got this package here. So uh, I'm guessing the one in the doorways in the place downstairs, and that is encouraging. I've just seen some purple nights or whatever called. And uh, I said on an episode about three or four episodes ago that the reason I, I sort of stopped my last GTA 300% walkthrough is because I got about this far actually. And um, it turned out the purple nines wouldn't actually load for whatever reason. They wouldn't spawn in a certain mission I had to do, so obviously I, I couldn't pass the mission at that point, it became uh, impossible. So the fact that they've spawned now is not to be all and end all, I mean it might still get to the mission and they don't actually spawn. But we're about to find out I think, because I'm pretty sure it's the first mission for the ice. <coughs> it can't be tough this mission as well actually. I think you, it's, looks like, it's like a rampage. Yeah, as DR says, the problem with this mission is uh, it's not just taking out the knights, it's the jacks that will shoot you as well. Uh, I should really have changed vehicle there when I had the chance actually. Yes, get in. <laughs> the purple knights have spawned, they're amazing. So I can finally give this mission a crack for the first time and since the time I completed like two times ago when I was back on PS2. And uh, basically my advice is to just gun and run, you know, when, you, when you're sort of lingering in a location too long and red jacks will get you like this. So, uh, you know, they got me in a good position that time actually, because uh, the cartel crews are right there. But um, yeah, if you get swarmed, it can, your vehicle can go down pretty quickly. So it's basically involved picking off the targets. The right arm to the right arm. And of course, police aren't immune in this mission. But you have plenty of time, and I'll do well for time, I think. I'm so glad they fixed the bug there. I mean, it might have just been that copy I had on PS3 or something when I got it from the PS store, but I'm so relieved. You're not relieved, you know, obviously. It's got enough 
it is a glitch and it's this far into the game really because the amount of time we put in it, you know. And the first thought when I started this 100% walkthrough was, oh maybe we should just do just the storyline missions and get to this point. Then go back because um, obviously if it, if it stops me at that point then I, I can't really go any further but yeah I just figured that it's, it's not much bother grabbing certain things that uh, I'll just risk it and thank god the reward paid off. Now there are a lot of buildings like this on the downstairs level so uh, I got lucky there, found it pretty early on. Now that was the only other hidden package you can think of. In fact I think there might be one sort of in between two buildings or something around here. But um, I'm not going to be that bothered if I don't find them all at this stage because I'm, I'm going to plan a proper route later on. Hopefully I remember the ones I have picked up and what I haven't. And there is definitely a couple of rampages around here, I think on the, on the roof of one of these garages or something. The only... Uh, in fact, there's two side missions, I think, in Short Time Play, and um, one of them is around there. So I'm going to sort of cruise and have a gander. Uh, it's called uh, Rumpo Rampage, I think. Um, so it's, it's. See, there's the rampage, and it was on one of the buildings somewhere. I can only assume you have to jump off the bridge. Or use like a ambulance to get up there or something. But yeah, we're from Pearl Page. It's one of the RC missions where you, you get in the vehicle and just take out as many Rumpos as you can. You only have to take out one or two. So yeah, uh, that one's not too problematic, but of course it involves finding it first. I think the other package is down here. Yeah. So uh, making good progress, actually. I think we've got all the packages down in Wichita Gardens for now, anyway. And uh, while I'm here, may as well go and, you know, while I know it's there, may as well tackle that rampage. Having said that, this is a import vehicle, Cavi, for sure, the uh, short side bear one, so I did say um, if ever I'm going to come across them, even though I've, even if I'm planning on doing something, I'm just going to detour and head straight there, because the Cavi might surprise you, actually, it's actually quite rare. You know, there's only one park location for it in the game. That's the Rumpo, by the way, I think I've just spotted behind the, the billboard, the Rumpo Rampage up. Uh, yeah, I digress anyway, the, the copy is... See, it's fallen now because I'm in it. But you come across it about three or four times in the actual playthrough of the game. I've certainly found that this fight, as opposed to the Tactics, which is a lot more common, you know, in future GTA games, they balance it a bit more, like, Vice City, they probably appear 50-50 or something. So I dropped this off, I think that's five down on Shoreside Vale now and I'm gonna, fingers crossed here, drag someone up of this, hopefully not get any police on them and hopefully this stinger stays where it was. So when I come back for that, that you know, that's also on the list. I might be out of range where it spawns out though, but hopefully not. Oh, excellent. Yeah, still there. So um, that's always something to bear in mind, you know, if you are like very close to the import export list and you see something else that's on there, uh, just do that. And hope that it doesn't spawn out or something like the vehicles did on the rampage you're trying to install. Sort of. whether I've actually dropped the stallion up there, I think I have. But uh, while I'm here actually, uh, 
there are a number of uh, sports scars that actually spawn right here. Nevertheless, this thing was so close actually, it was sort of pointless getting that but it's probably take me a bit of time. But definitely, um, you know, there'll be a banshee around here soon, there'll be a stinger, uh, a cheater, sorry, in the fairness. Ah, there we go. I'll take this cheater, drop that off, and uh, I'm making import export progress a lot quicker than I actually expected, which is brilliant, really. Now the original reason I was going to head over here earlier is a red that every now and again the Mr. Whoopi actually does spawn behind the cartel mansion. I think you need a cartel cruiser to get that, but you know if I'm going to find one on the short side, it will be around here because the gang members are obviously there. Yeah, definitely do need a cartel cruiser to get in there, but unless it's sort of an entry around the back or around the side of another house or something. There we go. Now this is conjecture of course, so I'm, you know, every now and again whenever I'm passing them, I'm in no real rush to, you know, I'm not in the middle of a mission or something. I think I might just pop it and just check if there's a Mr. Whoopi there because that's one of the cars that really worries me, <coughs> you know. At the end of the game, I don't want to end up sort of uh, having to roam around for a couple of hours just looking for a Mr. Whoopi. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's here, does it? There is definitely a package in here though, so I suppose it wasn't pointless coming in. Uh, this mansion's where you start the final mission in the game actually, so I definitely will be back later on, but you know, I don't think I'll be taking the final mission down off Mr. Whoopi, so um, yeah, pretty much two or three more times before the end of the game I think I'm definitely going to be popping in here and just hoping for the best. I must check sort of the spawn ratio it comes in, because if it isn't like 5% or something, you know, I may as well just get the firefighter missions out of the way on Shoreside Vale and um, just keep doing them on random islands and hoping it turns up there. There is another vehicle I need though, brilliant. So uh, wasn't too problematic, you know, at the start of last episode I think I lost my stretch and my Esperanto and I got them back pretty quickly. Gone to the time, I've probably got enough time to take this to the import expo list, and that'll probably be it for the episode. Um, probably then gonna save it and uh, that'll be it for tonight. So, probably the next couple of days, I'm gonna have episodes up where I am um, finishing off this, you know, import export list. I probably will check hidden package and uh, rampage route, you know, while I'm still in uh, Shoreside Vale. I anticipated doing a couple of don't want to the super missions first, but yeah, while I'm here, I may as well just get all the side missions and side quests and show side bail out the way. So, on that note, we'll just finish by checking the list, see what I need, what I've got, and uh, I'll call that an episode there, so I'll see you next time.